This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how you can run the latest text to image Deep Floyd IF model on free tire Google Collab. So basically using the GPU run in, uh, runtime instance on Google Collab. How can we run this particular Deep Floyd IF model? Okay. Uh, so in their GitHub page, they have this particular collab notebook so i'm going to try it out i'm just going to change the prompt otherwise i'm not changing any code over here okay so the question is uh, this particular model okay makes use of a t5 uh, text encoder right a uh, text embedding basically generator right it uses ifs text to image unit and the IF's upscaler unit, these have parameters of 4.5 billion, 4.3 billion, and 1.2 billion parameters. Right? Uh, uh, if you compare this to stable diffusion, uh, it just makes use of 400m and 900m parameters because this model operates in the pixel space, whereas stable uh, diffusion works in the latent space. Okay. So, how do you actually run this on a normal free tire collab GPU? right so what they did over here is that they optimized if to run on memory constrained hardware okay uh, for that if you map the original full float 32 precision of each of these models you require say 20 gb alone for t5 xsl encoder right for the stage 1 unit you need 17.2 gb for super resolution stage 2 you need 2.5 gb and for stage 3 super re resolution model you need 3.4 gb right so we don't have that much space over here so what they do is that they make use of float 16 uh, you know uh, precision in this way the component sizes now becomes 11 gb uh, 8.6 gb 1.25 gb for t5 stage 1 and stage 2 units which is doable for the gpu but we are still running into cpu memory overflow errors because uh, you know in um, this has only 13 gb cpu right that's why they go for an even lower precision of T5. Uh, so which has 8-bit quantization instead of 16-bit. So they go for that model which takes as little as 8 GB. So this is how they are able to run this particular code on this particular uh, collab free tire instance, GPU instance. Okay. So a quick look at the model over here. It, it consists of a frozen T5 XXL for text embedding. Then there are three stages over here right uh, these are cascaded diffusion models uh, so the in the first stage it produces a 64 by 64 image in the second stage it produces a 256 by 256 image and finally these are two super resolution models the 256 by 256 image and 1024 by 1024 image so these are super resolution stages okay now let's go to the code and see how they do it uh, so first look at available resources so you have close to 13 gb of ram and you have a nvidia t4 with 15 gb vram okay this is the gpu uh, card right then you need to install the dependencies i will not go into it right ah uh, then important thing is that you should have a hugging face account okay then you have to accept this particular license on deep floyd license okay I have actually accepted this license that is why it is showing me this page otherwise it shows a page for you to accept the license so you have to accept the license and then you have to also create a token over here access token under your account right so i have created a hf hub token right and basically you need that okay then you have to log in from python shell into your hugging face hub with this particular token okay hf hub token you can create tokens over here you can copy this token and you have to log in okay so once you have logged in now the first step is to load the t5 encoder but with 8-bit quantization so that is what is done over here right then you have to create a uh, text embedding okay uh, for that first thing is that what they do over here is that uh, you create this diffusion pipeline with text encoder is equal to text encoder we pass the previously instantiated 8-bit text encoder right uh, so that is what is done over here you create a diffusion pipeline basically right 
and uh, uh, in this case we pass none for the unit argument uh, because a unit will uh, otherwise no unit will not be loaded this is only running the text embedding portion of the diffusion process without loading unit into memory okay so then there is a prompt i change the prompt from astronaut riding a horse with sign i change it to a photograph of a tiger in a jungle holding a sign that says get off my home okay now you uh, encode this prompt and get the embeddings okay so once you do this now you delete the text encoder and delete the map and you clear memory because this would have taken 8 gb of memory to clear it you do this okay so now you are you have done this particular stage okay so you have the text embedding right now the text embedding has to be passed to the first stage of the diffuser okay uh, so this is the first stage diffusion pipeline right so here uh, text encoder becomes none if you see over here okay uh, so we can uh, load the diffusion reload the diffusion pipeline with only the unit to run the main diffusion process okay and the model is deployed if i excel v1.0 basically this model i x this particular model okay so this is the first stage then what you do is that uh, we can pass the text prompt right or since we already have the uh, embeddings generated and we have the embeddings as pytorch tensor so we can pass that over here okay the prompt embeddings okay so that is what is done over here and we'll define a random generator and run the stage one diffusion process that is what is done over here right now we can convert the uh, what you call tensors into image to see our first stage 64 by 64 image so if you see there is this image of a tiger with a sign okay again we delete the pipe and we flush the memory to free the memory then we can now load the stage 2 super resolution model okay so this is the stage 2 super resolution model okay uh, so this is ifil uh, you know second stage basically if second stage large model over here again we are not using text encoder we are passing the uh, this thing and we can also pass this particular image from the first stage okay so that is what is done over here right we pass the image prompt embedding is our embedding obtained from the first t5 encoder because the same text embedding goes into each stage over here okay so that is passed over here and we get this bigger image okay so this is the 256 by 256 image now what you can do is that you can delete mem uh, the pipe flush the memory uh, load the third stage super resolution of 256 into uh, 1024 by 1024 so it makes use of stability as x4 upscaler over here but the thing over here is that uh, the x4 upscaler you need to actually now pass the uh, basically this image basically the previous 256 by 256 image and generate the new image right so this is your final 1024 into 1024 image so this has come out really well okay uh, some kind of tiger in the jungle with the bird get off my home right so this image has been created very nicely right so in this way you are able to now run deep floyd okay if uh, text to image pipeline on a collab free tire gpu so you are running this entire pipeline this model so now you can change your prompts and you can actually try out different images you can generate different images okay by following this code okay so what else they do have in this particular tutorial okay they can also have image variation text guided image variation and you can also do in painting the core diffusion process is same as text to image except you the initial noise image is created from the image to be varied or in painted so there is an image input which needs to be given again delete the previous pipeline flush memory okay then you download this image basically right and this is your original image okay now what you want to do is that image variation is guided by text so again you need t5 text encoder again with 8 bit precision uh, now you pass the text encoder don't pass the unit over here right so unit is none get the text embeddings the prompt is anim style okay get the text embeddings and then you start your uh, you know uh, diffusion process okay 
uh, uh, so what we do over here is text encoder is none but only thing is that in the uh, pipe to this diffusion process you pass the original image okay and the text embeddings prompt embeddings and then you get the 64 by 64 image uh, you can then delete the pipe create the second pipeline uh, basically stage 2 super resolution to get the 256 by 256 image so this is how it looks like okay so so what else can you do you can also do in painting okay so you just need to select the area of the image which is denoised so you need a mask okay we specify the area to in paint with an image mask okay so what you do is that this is the original image over here right and then uh, what you do is that you you have to create a mask image for that so they have already created a mask image for this uh, they have pre-generated a mask image so then what they do over here is that uh, again same we have to load the text encoder get the text embeddings right and then in the first stage diffusion process in the pipe you also pass the mask image original image and the prompt embeddings okay you will again get a 64 by 64 image and you upscale it to super resolution 256 by 256 you get this particular image okay so the conclusion over here is that uh, deep fluid if in 32 bit floating point requires 40 gb of weights in total but how you um, they have showed how using only open source models and libraries this can be run in a free tire google uh, collab instance okay so in this way you can use this diffusers library and uh, you know deployed uh, if weights along with uh, you know stability uh, hugging face uh, libraries uh, you can actually now create wonderful images using deployed if models okay so you can also go and test this out uh, you can change the prompts and see what kind of images are getting generated i really like this way of how they have done this memory optimization uh, this could be done for other models also if uh, you know you if uh, they are compatible like you are passing the text embeddings to lower stages you can create the embedding and then delete this particular model so that you can save the memory and so on so if you have a pipeline of models right and each one takes the output from the previous stage so as you are progressing through the stages you can look at this how you can optimize memory so that you can run it on a free tire collab gpu so i like this approach a lot over here and the kind of images which got generated is also nice over here uh, so what i will do is that i will link in this particular github page and this collab notebook uh, you can go and try it out so it is basically their tutorial which i have you know changed a little bit over here okay they also have a hugging face spaces which you can check out if you don't want to run using collab you can try this hugging face spaces you can enter a prompt and you can generate an image over here okay but if you want to try uh, with code and you want to create multiple images you can try out this google collab i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video